Welcome to another segment of things I do in my life. I don't know. This is a little different today. We are going to show you how to load a seed can. My uh, brother and I, a few times a year we ship some old vehicles and parts across seas and my brother asked me if I could just do a video because he's had other people ask him, you know, what do we do to load it? And I know his clients are real awesome and we're trying to maximize, get as much stuff in there as we possibly can. So what I'm doing right now is we're putting an old car in first and I'm going to build a shelf that goes over top of the hood. That gives us another platform to, to uh, load some more parts up. And it's really quite simple, quick and easy. I just use some 2x6, some scrap plywood, glue it on the corners and screw it together. Now we'll put a little piece of plywood here like this on that side and that'll uh, be there to uh, screw to the uh, bottom of the seat can and then show you later on how we put it all together. Now it's important that when you're doing any of this stuff you got to use proper wood. Um, they're really worried and the same, same as us if we get stuff that comes over and it's not the proper wood it's not going to get into the country because it could have bugs. So you got to make sure that you have heat treated wood, kiln dried heat treated wood. I actually use a pressure treat and I've got some documentation on it. Plywoods are okay. So just be careful about what you do when you build and stuff. Don't use barn wood because it's not going to pass. Okay, what I'm doing here is we're building some wheel blocks. So basically, just a 2x6, 2x4, and it's going to go like this. The wheel will be in the middle. We've got to have a, uh, a block for the side as well. So I'll build them like this, slide it in. We'll screw it in from the back side into the C-cam, and then this one will go up against the tire and then it gets screwed in. So I'll build four of those for each of the vehicles. We're just prepping to get the first vehicle in. Now, vehicles have the potential of leaking some fluids, so we got to put some plastic down first. And you can see I just basically put some two by twos, screwed them onto the floor there, and then just laid the plastic over top. That way if anything leaks, it's going to be trapped. You do not want to have to pay to get that cleaned up. So first step, get some plastic down. You can see here we stuck a cab in the back of a pickup. And all we did was just you gotta take some pretty good measurements, built some stilts for it, bolted it down. Now we'll just uh, strap her in, good to go. All right, we're just getting uh, ready to build this shelf here. So I've got the sides screwed down. You can see there that we had to do a little modifying. We had to cut the corner out of the plywood. Put a little 45 down there to accommodate for our straps. So we'll put the piece of plywood on and we'll see when we get that done. All right, our shelf is built. Don't forget to put your uh, cross pieces in there. Now it will not move. Ready to load up some stuff. Give you a bit of a progress report here. You can see that we've got the shelf all loaded up. We've got stuff stuffed underneath the front clip up there. And then down here we've laid some plastic down and put a frame. We'll drive over top of that, but we're loading up in between the frames. So every little nook that you've got 
Fill her up. I'm just using my truck as a demo, but this is how our block system works. And uh, when you're doing this, make sure you put a couple screws in so you don't have to do that while you're laying on the ground. All right. I just okay. We got the uh, the next truck all loaded up. As you can see, we got the cab in the back, and uh, we had lots of clearance. So now it's time to block her up, and we'll uh, cinch her down. Good to go. A couple more things that you have to do when we're getting ready to throw a truck in the sea can is as little fuel as you could possibly get and then you have to make sure that everything is all taped up to eliminate any fumes from coming out. Just like that. If your cap is on just make sure you get a good seal around it and now we'll address the battery. Now if you leave your battery in I know on these old trucks here you can't really pull the battery because well you probably could but it's a pretty tough job once, once it's in the sea can but if you have to leave it in you have to unhook them and you have to tape up your your terminals All right. One of the other things that we're going to mention here too is when you're uh, strapping down your tire, we put it through the rim, and you got to make sure that you have certified straps. This one has a red line in it, so that's what was what is required. And I don't know if you can read that or not, but maximum braking strength on these is 10,000 pounds. So through the rim, certified straps, don't take any chances. Okay, got the other shelf built. And uh, we got another front clip up on the top. We're gonna throw some more fenders and stuff. Now we just have to load the front up. That's gonna be a challenge. There's lots more to go. All right, give you a bit of an update. So we got a, actually got a half of a cab up there as well. So we're really filling her up. Just getting ready to build the lower shelf. We got to stick some engines and stuff in there. And the box is going to go up on the side like that. All right, give you a bit of an update here. We've uh, built a bit of a structure to support that uh, half of the cab that we put up there. We've got fenders and then built the structure that goes over top of the engines and the engines are screwed down and uh, bolted to the floor and next is the cab so you have to get creative like I said this is a this is a jigsaw puzzle and everything has to be put in and respect the sea can Make sure you got cardboard so you're not rubbing up against their uh, their nice paint. And we're just finishing up on the sea can. We've got the cab in now. We just got to strap it down. So we made uh, wooden mounts to go underneath the cab so that we can screw that down as well. We'll strap it. Make sure she's good. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but all your engines, make sure you wrap them up in plastic so they don't leak any oil. We got a couple of other holes we can fill up, and uh, but we won't bore you with that little thing. So that's how you do a C-can. That's how we do it.